Now the decision on whether to charge a teenager accused of sexually assaulting two young girls on MacDill Air Force Base, well that is now in the hands of the Attorney General's office. Yeah, the investigation is complete, but the parents have their doubts about whether the suspect will be prosecuted. Eight on your side, Investigator Walt Buteau joining us now with a follow-up report. And Keith and Stacey, the decision to prosecute will now be up to the Tampa office of the Attorney General. And as that case moves forward, we can tell you there's a lot of parents who are skeptical. Children who use this MacDill Air Force Base playground call this stand of trees the secret place. That's where this six-year-old alleges she was assaulted by her 13-year-old neighbor in what was described to Army investigators as first-degree sexual assault. An even younger girl had stepped forward first with allegations the same teenager exposed himself to her. Her mother recorded the conversation about the incident that started with the suspect asking to massage her. But I didn't want a massage, and then he did something weird. The young suspect was moved off and barred from the base the day after our first report on this. From day one of the investigation, parents who live on the base were concerned about the military's poor record in prosecuting juvenile sexual assaults. According to the AP, a review of one set of 100 investigations showed only about one out of seven of those assaults was prosecuted. You want the system to change? Yes, and how it'd be better to have uh, the federal prosecution for these type of cases just move directly to local authorities so they can handle the situation. The deputy chief of public affairs at the base confirmed the Army has completed its investigation and has referred the case to the U.S. Attorney's Office in Tampa. The spokesperson for that office tells me, quote, we have no comment at this time. But the parents of the two alleged victims tell me they are skeptical the suspect will be charged, adding to the military's record of not prosecuting this type of case. Understanding that this has happened before and the uh, perpetrator getting away with it, <laughs> it's just really tough to deal with. Another unanswered concern is whether or not military bases notify families about children who were sexual assault suspects on other bases. So does federal law get in the way of prosecuting juveniles? It shouldn't. Uh, we checked on that and found out the feds have three options with juveniles, including turning the cases over to state authorities, but data shows the feds rarely prosecute juveniles. And, of course, parents waiting to see that with whether that will happen in this local case. All right. Okay. You'll keep us posted. Thank well, you, Walt. If you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, call the 8 on your side helpline, 1-800-338-0808. Hurricane.